What is up everybody, welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at how to work out the surface area of a rectangular prism. Let's go. So first, what is a rectangular prism? Well, it is a shape very similar to this, and it is a 3D shape that's bound, which means joined by six rectangular faces. So we can see all these faces on this example here. And the surface area is essentially if we turn this shape into its net form, make it flat, make it a 2D shape, we want to measure the area that it takes up on a surface. So we're going to have to calculate all of these individual faces in order for us to calculate the total area. But fortunately, there is a little trick or a formula to help us because we can see that the surface area equals two front or backs because we can see that our front and our back is gonna be exactly the same. So we only have to make one measurement and then we can multiply it by two. Then we're gonna add that to two top and bottom for the same reason, our top and bottom is gonna be exactly the same. And then we add that to two left or right because our left and rights are gonna be exactly the same. So let's begin. And first, let's work out this front face that is facing us, which will be this one on the net. And the first thing we need to do is establish which measurements are involved in that. So we have this eight centimeters here for this edge, and then the length of the height is gonna be this three centimeters over here. And the formula for working out the area of a rectangle is simply area equals length times width. So in this case, we have area equals eight times three, or in other words, area equals 24. But 24 what? Well, when we're measuring area, we're actually building up little squares that will therefore fill the shape that we're measuring. So we measure it in centimeters squared. So we've just calculated that the front is 24 centimeters, but we already learned that the back is therefore exactly the same. So to get to the measurement of the back, we can simply just multiply this by two, which leaves us with 48 centimeters squared for our front and back. Okay, awesome, now let's do our left and our right. So we just need to pick one of them, we'll pick the right. And this time we can see that we're gonna use this five centimeters here because this is the length of this edge here. And then we'll use the three centimeters, which is the length over there. And again, area equals length times width. So therefore, area equals five times three. Or in other words, area equals 15. And again, remembering our units, centimeters squared. But we've only just measured the right. In order for us to get the left as well, we're gonna multiply by two, which equals 30 centimeters squared. Awesome, we're making loads of progress. Now we've just got top and bottom left to go. And we can see that when we're looking at this top face here, we're gonna use the measurement eight centimeters and five centimeters. I've got area equals length times width, area equals eight times five, therefore area equals 40 centimeters squared. And then to get the opposite one, I've got times two, which equals 80 centimeters squared. So now we have measured the surface area of all the individual surfaces. What we've got to do now is pop them all together to get our total surface area. So I'm going to add my 48 centimeters to my 30 to my 80. Do that in my column addition over here. And that gives me a total of 158 centimeters squared. So my surface area equals 158 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at what to remember. First of all, a rectangular prism is a three-dimensional solid bound by six rectangular faces. The surface area is equivalent to saying two front or backs added to two top and bottoms, added to two left and rights. And we must remember to include our units in our answers. Okay, your turn. Have a go at working out the surface area of this rectangular prism. Put your answer into the comments section. Good luck. Press pause now. And there you go. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel and sharing this video with someone who's going to also benefit from it. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Peace out.